My name is Deirdre McNamara. I'm a naturalized citizen. I came to the United States to avoid recruitment into the uh, Marxist IRA in which my father was a leader. I left many, many great opportunities there, uh, starring contracts, etc., etc., scholarships by, offered by the British scientific uh, agencies and so on. And I came expecting a clear playing field. Uh, my first apartment was destroyed by a landlord called Kal Kal Kalimian, who turned off heat and hot water every weekend in winter. That brought me to Roosevelt Island with my young uh, son and my daughter who was four. My son was an infant at the time. We were put into an apartment that seemed very nice, but next door was this woman who worked for the Board of Elections. She was a local coordinator, and she made it her business to make my life hell with slander, um, accusations, false accusations, perjury against me and my family, etc., etc. I forged ahead. I still managed to make some productions. I'm as a homeopath. I'm a homeopath and a playwright. As a homeopath, I um, saved the, the state of New York three million on one patient alone because I was the first to uh, consult in a New York hospital, um, and that was Goldwater Hospital. And the work that I did was outstanding. And they wanted me to. Um, uh, to make a proposal, which I did, which passed six committees, at which point this woman who had access to housing, she had access to public safety, she had access to um, the, the hospitals because she was just very, very deeply embedded in the Democratic Party in New York. Um, and may or may not have been her, but the circumstantial evidence, which requires uh, investigation at all levels. Um, suddenly there was an assault on my, t attempt on my son's life. And that attempt was completely covered up. It was absolutely horrible to see him with a machete wound in his head, um, inflicted by a, an illegal immigrant called Carlos Guzman, who was given preferential treatment by Roosevelt Island Public Safety. And this woman went out of her way, a Board of Elections woman, to, to um, uh, bring false charges against him and uh, her convicted felon granddaughter likewise, and to commit perjury against him. I took him out of the country for his own safety. Um, later, I, the, an attempt was made on my life. I was walking down the street. Um, I thought that Neil Jordan had, uh, was still filming on the island, so I felt safe. And I was uh, harassed. And, and I was a, a, there was an attempt made on my life by Roosevelt Island Public Safety. Uh, these people, according to the NYPD, I, may I quote them, say that most of the problems on Roosevelt Island are caused by uh, Roosevelt Island Public Safety. They have absolutely unlimited power. And to me, this appears to be the template for what's going on in America today. They've gotten away with absolutely, absolute aberrations and violations and abrogation of the law for um, 30, 30 years. And now this is inflicted on America at large. I want an investigation in the attempt in my life who was behind it, who covered it up, why it was covered, covered up. Uh, Mayor Bloomberg looked me in the eye and said he would investigate. He assigned a flunky who, who dumped it. Uh, Attorney General, uh, then Attorney General uh, Spitzer uh, didn't even respond. Attorney General um, Cuomo uh, dropped it. Um, everybody in Roosevelt Island, at executive level in Roosevelt Island operating corporate, they lost their jobs one by one and one, including the director of public safety, who was not actually one of the villains. Um, there is ample evidence. There are witnesses. And um, it is just absolutely horrendous that this has been allowed to go on for long. And by the way, I was not, as a result of the injuries, it took me five years to recover from those injuries. I was not able to feel my grandson. I was not able to hold him. I had to keep him in a pillow. Can you imagine that? Until he was about six months old. So um, this has to stop. This has to stop. It's not America.